This is a virtual road trip to Nazca in Peru. Please join us for the Elongated Skulls Tour of Peru in August of 2018. So here we are in one of the driest deserts in the world, driving from Paracas towards Nazca. You can see the landscape, barely anything can grow because this area only gets about half an inch of rain per year. We were lucky on this day in that we were able to take a shortcut. This tunnel cannot fit a bus, but a van can reasonably easy, easily make it through. And this tunnel, in fact, may date from Inca times. I have to get that corroborated, but as far as I know, what we're driving on is the ancient Inca Trail, which is now somewhat of a modern highway. Again, you see the austerity of the landscape, all of this granite stone, the result of major volcanic activity in the distant past. And what's really intriguing about the landscape around Nazca is you have two major geological factors at work ancient volcanism, and then also sea level rise, or at least not the sea, but the sea bed rising up. So you have this combination of the ancient ocean floor and major volcanic activity, which is the Nazca area. And here we're going through another little tunnel. And our first stop is at Palpa, which you may have never heard of. But at Palpa, there are more than 1,000 geoglyphs created by the ancient Paracas people who existed prior to the Nazca culture. Now, you'll have to look quite carefully, but on the side of this mountain, you'll see there are figures right there etched into the surface. This little cluster of figures is called the Palpa Paracas family, again made by the Paracas culture more than 2,000 years ago. Now we're back on the road and we're heading through the desert landscape of the Nazca area. Again, notice you'll see all of this aggregate material, which is the result of ancient rivers and what you're looking at now that flat surface is the Nazca Plain which we are now driving on flat as a board hundreds of square miles and this is the area where the famous Nazca lines and geoglyphs are located So you see how flat it is and the volcanic mountains in the background. And this is the Maria Reich Tower. When you climb to the top of it, you can see two of the famous geoglyphs of Nazca. This is me walking on the ground and you see how shallow the Nazca figures are carved into it. They're not deep at all. And it's simply that the volcanic material is on the surface, but when you scrape away the volcanic material, then you get to the clay underneath. The clay is the result of the ancient ocean floor um, being exposed. So the Nazca lines and figures are not mysterious in terms of the way that they were made. It's actually pretty simple but very ingenious for an ancient culture like the Nazca people and prior to them, the Paracas. And now up we're going level by level of this tower. So from the first level, you look out, can't see much, but then you start to see the lines. These are um, aspects of what is called the Tree of Life, which is one of the more famous of the Nazca figures. Not as famous as the hummingbird, but it's quite massive and easy to see from level one of the tower. 
And now we're going up to level two. There's the highway going to Nazca. And then as the camera slowly pans, you'll see the outline of the figure called the hands, which are two hands. And then back across. And now we're looking again at part of the Tree of Life. Now we're going even higher. And here we look across the road. You can see the outline of part of the reptile figure, which was cut in half when the highway was made. But that, of course, was done long before the lines and geoglyphs became a World Heritage Site. But here you see the austere um, Nazca Plain area. And now we're going up to the top. And again, looking out, there's the Tree of Life again. And you see a runway in the background, or a so-called runway. And again, the figures are not carved that deeply into the surface. The reason they're still there is that Nazca does not receive a lot of wind. And again, only gets half an inch of rain per year. And here we go on the road to Nazca City itself. Please join us on tour. In January, we explore ancient Mexico. And then March is Egypt, our sixth annual tour. Limited spaces available. In June, the Inti Raimi Festival of the Inca, a grand spectacle. August, again, the Elongated Skulls Tour, where you'll get to see lots of Nazca. And in October, Croatia and Bosnia, including the Bosnian Pyramids.